Hey guys, welcome back. We've changed the system, we've played four matches in the meantime, and I guess after the intro I'll let you know how it's gone. <music> the answer is well, actually. Um, I've changed to a formation which I've never used before in my life, which is a narrow diamond on this game. I used to use it fairly often actually on FIFA, but never on Football Manager. And, uh, what you can see there, there's, there is one down point, but 3-0 <laughs> against Oldham, who we drew with in the league, means we are in the second round of the FA Cup, which we are going to be doing today against Southend. And then Bolton, of course, the league won themselves, dispatched in the Leasing.com trophy, North Group B, EFL trophy, which we now have Norwich under 23s in the next round of that one. Annoyingly follows Bradford, but that's by the by. And, uh, then probably turned up and be as 2-1. Not massively reflective of the game. They did get back into it towards the end, actually, which does kind of make it look a little bit more even. But, yeah, shots not being converted. Still. And then 3-1 away of Scunthorpe. Fixed the league problem for the first time in a very long while. Not We've not won the league since mid-September, so... Two months without a league win. Finally got one away at Scunthorpe. And, uh... I'm not entirely certain what happened to the stats in this game, because at half-time we had nine shots and seven on target. Somehow we've ended the game with 20 shots and 5 on target. And I wish I was recording this one because I feel like I'm going crazy. But it, what, what it does mean today is South End on the horizon and Wimbledon to come. Now, obviously, if we get a draw out of this first match, then I'm not sure where the replay falls in. It may affect what comes on afterwards. But for now, today's episode, at the very least, will be South End and Wimbledon. And we'll see from there. It is also worth noting the teams that we have lost to in the league are Notts County, Crewe, Newport County, Bristol Rovers, and Salford, who are directly behind us. And now Bromley. But, and Salford, who are directly behind us. And all but Crewe, oh, sorry, all but Newport were away from home. So, Bristol Rovers away from home, Crewe away from home, Notts County away from home, Salford away from home. They're not surprising losses. So, it's sort of the draws against the teams this end that were the disappointing ones. Wickham, Swindon, Northampton drew against all of those at home, which is so annoying. Actually, Northampton was away, but still. What's particularly interesting is when we drew South End, it said neither team were in good form. <laughs> hmm, that's changed. 75 minutes of action for Leetel, enough for me because the other... Actually, Stanley hasn't been that bad. The reason for Leetel on the bench, though, is because he can do attacking central midfield okay-ish. As you can see here, we have a quite a long list of central midfielders who are just okay. And uh, yeah, so Lee Tao's one of those. So that's why he's on the bench opposed to one of the one winger that he's actually performing, Stanley. Kempster's not been scintillating either. He's been very incredibly average. So I could really play Kempster and Stanley as the wingers if I really wanted to. But the fo just something needed to change. And sometimes, actually, the team just needs a re refresh of formation before you even... You can even just go back to the old one and it seems to work better. I've noticed that in the past. Like they just need to do a different formation for a little while and then they're going to go back to the normal one and it works better than it did before sometimes. Which is confusing, but still. So yeah, the new formation is a narrow diamond, as you can see here. Now, rather helpfully, before the second round of the FA Cup and an away game in the league against a team in a similar area to us, you know, the sort of the teams that we've been losing against, the natural time for Ted Smith to take a three-day injury. So, Trafford and goal. Ferguson on the left, Tavares, Romano and Clark. Ah, the other big one, of course, boys. Almost forgot about that one. Still three, seven weeks to three months out. Not great. He tore his thigh muscle, which sounds incredibly painful. Which means I have to now choose between the 6.56 average Kinsella and the 6.62 average Ferguson. And I've just noticed as Ferguson's last five games is incredibly consistently average. Wow. There's no up and down, no good, bad alterations, just average. That is the most even I've ever seen five matches in a row. Okay, then. Tavares and Romano. Romano's been playing instead of Boom recently. It's not really preferable. I mean, it's sort of just based on the fact that he stepped in when Tavares, I think, was out international or just suspended from yellow cards or something like that. He stepped in, had a good game, and then I think Boom was then out for the one that followed. So he ended up playing two games in a row, and he's been incredibly consistently good. So Romano staying in this team. Tavares on the left, Clark on the right. In right back, Smallwood, Nacelle and Thor in the middle. Actually, why is Thor? Oh, because Williams has Williams just taken a knock as well. Just what we needed. Uh, Tai Hai has done D 
decent in this position. McFarlane and Lopez up front. So basically, it's all three strikers on the pitch at the same time. But of course, Ty High is more favourable to the attacking midfielder role. And of course, we do have four backups, three backups for that now. I actually played Rosa by accident in one of the league games. He's not done too too badly overall. I'm not sure why his average is 6. Point, hang on, how can his overall average be 6.3 and his last five seven? He's only played two games. It must have been under 18's games affecting that. Just Ferguson, the only one lacking those match sharpness. And uh, I play 4 4 2, which is not great for our formation to face off against, but I passionately say nothing because none of those make sense. If we perform our best, we can deny them here. I kind of like that as a thing to say. We are playing the same time as other teams, so that should start appearing in the middle later scores otherwise. But highlight begins, and it's us in possession, but that is not great. And uh, I'm kind of confused where this is going. Seedon, though, who's that forward? We do get under it, and a cell gets that ball. And there's suddenly four players who could all get on to the end of this. Lopez is the one that does, and it's a little too close to the keeper before he unleashes a shot. Has been scoring a fair few one on ones, though. A little bit more. Seeing a little bit more. Hang on, how was that not on target? Why was that class as a block shot? It was the keeper that saved it. Well, I'm getting latest event updates, but not the scores, which is confusing. Good job, game. Romano, though, thought. Crawford in goal hasn't... Well, he's had to save one. Lopez, though, clean through now. Thank you, Nacelle. I think that was on the other end of that. Another one-on-one, -on -one, and he's put this one through. You did see, actually, I, I kind of forgot to mention it, on the League 2 page. He has scored 13 goals in the league and 19 in total. It's November. But yeah, Lopez clean through here, running onto that. He seems to be so far ahead of everyone else there. 1-0. League 1 South End, let's not forget. I don't know why, we seem to point performances against teams in the higher divisions and then just completely just don't really care about the teams below us in the table in League 2. I wish it also we put these performances in against the teams above us in the table away as well. But home to South End here, Clark. Smallwood now, back. Oh, Clark gets it back. And uh, he's probably going to be the one to put this one in, maybe. Nope, Smallwood now being maybe provider. Ty High. Just moving it within the box here. McFarlane finally gets an actual shot at the goal. After two attempts. Sheffield Wednesday got relegated there in League One. Thor. Ferguson. Oh, oh my god. Sorry, that will caught me so by surprise. 2-0. Well, he waited a long while to actually do something of note. And uh, oof, that's what happens, I guess. Just all the space for Ferguson to do that. I didn't really need to volley. He had about three acres to move into there. But volley he did. And volley... Oh. Anyway, they've now got the ball in this particular highlight. Humphreys, no. Ralph, no. Tavares, oof. Never mind. Sorted. And we're on the ball again. Ty High gets onto this one. Lopez, maybe offside. Misses anyway. It was hard to judge that without an all in motion, whether or not he was onside or offside. But he was onside, apparently. Small would have put this corner in. I'm not sure he's actually the best choice for that, but never mind. Nacell and uh, Tavares. This won't come to anything. It's a corner. Tavares, there we are. If it's a corner from open play, then yeah, it's not anything. And we are putting in the best performance we've done all season. I'm going to say keep it going because last time I said don't get complacent, they immediately scored. And I do not trust that instruction anymore. They're looking for overlaps now, which could be kind of problematic for us. I'm more almost tempted to go to a wider formation. Trafford, though, gathers that ball quite nicely. And uh, gives it out to Romano as instructed. Lennon, though, gets it off. Romano's pumped up the field. Mitchell. Completely does that guy in. I don't know who the number 13 is. I presume it's Ferguson. And showing the weaker side of his game there. Well, 65 minutes of this game have now gone. And this second half is sort of just vanishing a little bit. There's no one not playing particularly well. So I'm just going to bring Kemster on for McFarlane. Who can do pressing forward actually okay. Slightly better than he does deep lying. So we'll do that. But we'll actually bring Ty High off when he's having a particularly good game. Hmm. More thinking Clark at right back. Let's get a bit of experience, see this one out. As we have a call, uh, free kick, that's what those are. Ty High's on the edge of the box, he's going to crack that one. And what well, we've done it again, folks. I'm not sure if it's meant to be like Ty A He or Ty A High. Because there's an E accent, which is an, obviously an A sound in French, which, which sounds like the language of his nation. But we're going to go with Ty High for the time being because it's a confusing one how to pronounce. Mitchell on this one, 3 0, of course. And we've been ruthless in this particular game. Thought, oh, just about kept that one away from Lopez. And uh, Shaughnessy on this side now. And well, Mitchell's got past Ferguson. And Humphreys is in all the space. He was not going to miss that one. 
We've got 67 percent of the possession here in a narrow diamond formation. Like our put, like our overall possession in these four games in between, which you've not seen, has been lower on average, I would say. But of course, we've had the results out of it, so I'm going to take that all day long. Over can we can we not just let them pass all the time? Trafford, thank you. Oh, Tavares on a 6.8 and a booking, so. Just avoid getting him sent off for these last 10 minutes more than anything. Oh, there's a highlight. Did I bring Boom on too early? No, nope, Boom's on the ball now. Don't you dare mess this up. Comes to not through. Not sure why Boom's trying to do a through ball. Oh, good. Boom's the one who's at fault for that. Just watch this. Just watch this lack of movement from Boom. Oh, oh, he's gone past. Oh, bye. That's why he's not in the team. Because he does that far too often. I'm so glad we've scored three. No, I don't want analysis. I want to go to shout something. Why are you... Let me shout. Demand more. Focus, team. Focus. See this one out. Thank you. Oh, they didn't see the Mr. Ben winning this one. Great. Passionate. Uh, check on high performance. You were terrible in the second half. Yes, you were. No, I'm not pleased. It wasn't the greatest team talk, but it was a check on high performance, kind of. It's like 50k, though, which is a decent amount for this level of football. Admittedly, we do have 1.3 in the bank still. But we are the highest 1.6. Our wages in general do seem to see us take a deficit overhaul, overall. But it's only two days till Wimbledon, so I do need to rest the guys, and I'll bring you back for that particular one. Oh, the draw might be in between, actually. I'll bring you back for the draw first, whenever that may be. Because Premier League teams might be in it. Well, they will be in it. That's how it works. Well, here we are. There's a lot of teams to draw, so I won't bring you all of this draw, probably just when whenever we pop up. Or if there's any particular interesting ones. Sheffield leads. Liverpool gets Stoke, so we don't get Liverpool. Oh, hello. So they're all still here. Swindon or Portsmouth? Of course. <sighs> Chelsea get Leicester. Or oh, Championship Leicester, they've been relegated. QPR got Arsenal. Tottenham got Bristol. I mean, any Premier League team would have been money. Morecambe got Norwich. I suppose it would have been a bit much to be playing the under-23s in the uh, EFL trophy than actual Norwich in the FA Cup. Brighton. Championship Brighton have Man United. Who's in the Prem now, then? League 2 off there. Fulham aren't Premier League. Middlesbrough aren't Premier League. Well, Cardiff are back up there. West Brom are back up there. And Huddersfield. Oh, Leeds. I read that the wrong way around. I read Sheffield United as the Prem team, not Leeds. There's four new faces in the Prem, and it looks like Norwich and Aston Villa both survived the initial problems, initial season, so good on them, I guess. There's Swindon or Portsmouth. Not great either way. So after their performances midweek, I'm very reluctant to change anything about the team. The only thing I am going to do is I'm going to make Nacelle a deep line playmaker because he does prefer that, as opposed to box to box. And that's the only change I'm going to make, I think. Now, of course, we were underdogs last time, and this team talk hasn't... Oh, that's probably better. Just that the defenders didn't react. Everyone else was fine with it. Of course, last time out in the league was away at Scunthorpe, and we did pull off an upset there, apparently. Um, Scunthorpe on 19th. So it wasn't that much of an upset in terms of league position. But form-wise, it definitely was. Apparently, they'd gone four without loss. Obviously, we were eight without a win, so... <laughs> Ruined the betting on that one, didn't I? Smallwood, though, mm, puts that one wide. Was Wimbledon on the team directly ahead of us? Or was this the game in hand that we had that I didn't know when it came in? Oh, that game in hand is way more important than I thought it was. I did not know it was against the other team that had the game in hand. Because there was a few around, there was a few around me. I thought it might be... Because oh, Bristol had one... A few other teams had the game in their hands. I did not realise it was against the team directly next to me, is what I meant to say there. So it looks like Bristol have... They must be playing the same time as well. Hang on. Show me the FA Cup scores. Yeah, there's three games going on right now. So this is all the pickup games. So there's six teams that it could have... Well, five teams it could have been against. The fact that it's against Wimbledon is actually way more important than it originally looked. Ah, they're clean through. Good work, Clark. Come out, Trafford. Come out, Trafford. Ooh, just enough to push him wide. Bristol... Bristol beating crew away. Leighton Orient and Wickham, the other two, who... Well, they don't really affect us right now, neither of those, so... But Clark's on this side. Smallwood. Hi, hi. He's done it again. At this point, I'm just going... Can I can I set up an instruction just to give it to Ty High on the edge of the box? Because if he's going to keep doing that with the ball, then all by it. There we are. Clark passes to Smallwood. Smallwood gives it to Ty High, and... Nowhere. Defender's nowhere near. Bam. In the goal. This this seems to be the benefit of this particular system, though, is it does seem to overload the edge of the box. So there always seems to be a player free in a position to do that. 
I certainly say, hmm, you played well so far, but there's still room for improvement. That didn't really work, did it? I didn't want to say complacent, because you know what happened last time we did that? We lost. Or drew. I can't remember. We didn't win. That was the main thing, though. So with the way the other results have panned out in the meantime, wins for both us and Bristol do take both of us into the playoffs. Because I knew we could leapfrog Bradford and Newport, but I was worried about Wimbledon winning their game in hand as well, but it's against them. So, and what they're through, again. Oh, okay. Great block by whoever that was. Lopez. Clark. This second half is starting particularly action-packed. That's going to get... No, doesn't get intercepted. We do get it. And Lopez is on because that number six played him on. Good save. And, uh, well, probably just cut the video here. Might as well. Although, although there's a chance. Hang on. Mm. Corners. Although a corner corner without a pre-existing highlight is worrying. Piggott puts it back in the middle. Ah, uh, there we are. I didn't need to say don't get complacent. My brain thought it, and that's all that matters. I nearly skipped it out of instinct there. And, uh... Yeah, Piggott puts it in the middle, and it doesn't... It's a little unlucky, it just kind of falls to him. Cavalio actually tries to do it himself, and he just ricochets off the defender into the unmarked Rodoni. So, it's not great on the marking front, but it was kind of fortunate the way it fell for him. We were having a fun game. Three all missed penalty. Two penalties in the entire game. What is going on at Crew? Meanwhile, this game's kind of seeing itself out a little bit. Kempster can come on from afar and do what he did last time. Lopez isn't doing great, but... Kind of reluctant to bring him off ever. And I mean, the highlight is not for us, though. It's the throw in. Cavallio is through. I do wonder if someone was playing him on side on the left. Oh, no, that's gone in. I saw the fly of that ball. That's going straight in. Two goals for him all season. Can we can we hurry up with the highlight? Here it is. Cavallio. I'm just intrigued to see, like, just here. No one picks him up and he's easy as you like, really. Is he a fullback? Yeah, he's a fullback. It's a, it's a goal I've seen many a time with my own sides in the past. Fullback to fullback. Ferguson's booked. Smallwood, Smallwood is motivated and our best player on the pitch right now, but also booked. And also the most tired, um, probably. Gonna bring Thor on for Nacelle in a box-to-box -box role as well, because Nacelle's not had a good couple of games, actually. He's He's been a little underperforming for a little while now. I'm just going to go attacking for the last five because there's no reason not to. Stop doing this. Are we going to get the ball off from here? We do. That's wonderful play by Lopez to get in the way of that. And Lopez is through again here. He's gone far too wide for this to be a goal. But it's a chance at the very least. They've had 10 shots on target. At least 50% of our shots have been on target. That's a better ratio than we've seen. This corner highlight went all the way back to Kinsella. And now it's cut off. What a waste of everyone's time that was. I really want to tell him to push forward, but I don't have the space for it right now. Well, that's disappointing. I didn't even say don't get complacent. I'm sorry, what? Tell the boys they did well and their efforts were excellent. Uh, we were the worst of the two teams overall, statistically and scoreline. Why would I be pleased with that performance? After doing so well, why would I be pleased with that performance? Well, everything settles out then with 20 games played in 10th and 29 points. Now, there's a few teams on similar points here, but 14th is like six points behind. There's a nice little buffer really there. And a nice, sort of a nice three-point buffer from 13th. So top half is still looking quite nice. And we have played basically every team above us away from home at this point. Actually, that's a lie because we, played, we lost a Newport at home, didn't we? Played Notts County away, Crew away, Bristol Rovers away, and now Wimbledon away. Maybe not quite as many as way as I thought we had. But we do get Swindon in the FA Cup, though. Immediately after we play them in the league, because that's how it always works, isn't it? Next time off, though, we're going to pick straight up where we let finish off here with Bradford and the Norwich under-23s because this is a cup competition we're looking to succeed in this particular year as well, especially as we go through the group stage. Top, in the end, against two League One teams and Wolves under-23s. So we're going to see if we're going to make a, make a go of this particular EFL trophy because in this road to the top, we only get a few cracks at it, really. FA Cup and Carabao Cup, they come around every year. But as soon as you get to the Championship... This one's no more. So we're going to have a go at it. And uh, yeah, so pick up straight up with Bradford and Norwich. See you then. I didn't say Tara. Well, I have now. Tara.